family, we've been taking a look at the ministries of the Holy Spirit in our life. And today we want to take a look at a ministry of the Holy Spirit that is described for us in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 through 4. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. If you noticed, there is a word which keeps popping up in that passage of scripture. It is the word comfort. And this is one of the ministries of the Holy Spirit in our life. Uh, the Holy Spirit comforts us. Have you ever had a dear family member go to be with the Lord or you have a friend to betray you or you have received a scary diagnosis? Whatever the case may be, the Holy Spirit is right there with you, comforting you. You know, in my ministry, I work with a lot of couples who are going through times that I like to describe as the two H's, times that are hard and horrible. Well, as the couple is comforted by and listens to the Holy Spirit during our times together, most often another pair of H's happen, healing and happiness. And that's when the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of comfort, is multiplied in our lives. Uh, take a closer look at that 2 Corinthians passage again. Who comforts us in all our affliction, comma, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction. Now, when we are going through the first two H's, when times are hard and horrible, we need and feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And we are living in, we are going through times of healing in the comma. But as the Holy Spirit does his work of comfort in our lives, then times of healing and happiness come and we are ready to move out of the comma and into sharing the comfort of the Holy Spirit with those who find themselves in hard and horrible times. Now, the Holy Spirit has transformed us from comfort receivers to comfort givers. So who in your life needs the comfort of the Holy Spirit? Uh, maybe you are ready to be a comfort giver. Uh, why would God comfort you in the hard and horrible times of life? Because God loves you. Well, God bless you. I'll see you next time.